Hello, everyone. Behind the bustling cities, millions of tons of scrap metal are discarded every year. But did you know they can be recycled into useful products, building new structures? Today, we will explore the journey of turning scrap into high-quality construction steel, a story of innovation, sustainability, and people working silently. In this video, we visit a scrap iron recycling plant in Pakistan and learn how workers turn scrap iron into construction steel in very primitive conditions. The iron recycling industry in Pakistan is growing strongly thanks to the growing demand for sustainable waste management, resource conservation, and supportive policies from the government. The first step in the metal recycling process is to collect scrap metal. This is a typical scrap iron recycling plant in Pakistan. A lot of scrap steel is gathered here. You can immediately see that the workers here do not use labor protection. Very special, right? In Pakistan, a significant portion of metal waste is imported Pakistan imported 455,000 tons of scrap iron from the U.S. last year, making the country a major iron recycling center in South Asia. Workers will manually sort the scrap based on the color and characteristics of the scrap to determine whether it is iron or steel or other alloy scrap. Unlike plastic scrap, scrap iron and steel are much larger and heavier, Therefore, sorting and collecting them requires a lot of effort and time. Although it is difficult, this is a job that provides a livelihood for hundreds of families. Their efforts are not only to make a living, but also to protect the environment. After sorting, the metal scraps are transported to the furnace. Workers use wheelbarrows to transport the scrap to the furnace. The furnace is located underground. It looks like a manhole in a house. These furnaces can reach temperatures exceeding 1,200 degrees Celsius, melting the metal into a liquid form. Local factories like this create many jobs for local workers, but pollution and lack of labor protection are major problems here. The melting process will consume a lot of energy. However, the amount of heat needed to melt recycled metal is 70% less than the process of creating metal from raw materials. So to some extent, factories like this can still reduce the damage to the environment. At high temperatures, the bonds between metal atoms are broken and they turn into a liquid state. At this time, impurities such as sand, plastic, wood, will be burned or float on the surface of the liquid, they are removed by scooping them out. Gravel is also added to the furnace to act as a protective layer for the furnace and to create slag. And now the molten metal is ready for the discharge stage. A giant pot is brought to the furnace by crane. The hydraulic machine lifts the furnace and the molten steel is poured into the pot. This pot filled with molten iron is fixed in a prepared position to pour the steel into the mold. Now comes the most exciting moment, discharge. This is a dangerous stage where even the smallest mistake can lead to serious consequences. Workers will use a chisel to open the path for the steel to flow out. Just one small mistake can cause burns, even endanger your life. After discharge, the molten steel is poured into the mold from the chute. Then they begin to cool and crystallize, forming steel billets, the first step to shaping the product. Cooling water plays an extremely important role in this stage. Steel production uses a lot of water, so steel recycling becomes more and more important and necessary. Next, the steel billet is shaped through the hot rolling process, the purpose of which is to reduce the thickness and increase the length of the steel billet.
It is called hot rolling because this process is carried out while the metal is still at a high temperature, usually above 1000 degrees Celsius, helping to shape the material and improve some of the product's properties. This process helps to eliminate internal defects, such as air holes or small cracks, formed during the casting process. Rectangular steel billets are passed through pairs of rolling rolls with gradually decreasing gaps. Under the effect of high temperature and high pressure, the steel billet will be compressed and stretched. In the final step, the steel billet is put into the rolling roll to shape. At this point, we have the finished product, construction steel. These steel wires are cut and bent to the size and shape according to the needs of use. And now they continue to be reused for the construction, materials, and other industries. Recycling metals not only save 60 to 95% of energy compared to mining and processing from raw materials, but also significantly reduces CO2 emissions. According to statistics, recycling aluminum reduces CO2 emissions by 95%, recycling steel by 70%, and recycling copper by 65%. This is an important step to help protect the environment and natural resources. Facilities like these contribute to the local economy by creating jobs and reducing the need to import raw materials, as well as tackling the waste that is everywhere. However, the recycling industry faces significant challenges. As can be seen at this plant, many workers work in dangerous conditions without adequate protective gear. This can lead to serious health problems over time. Recycling metals is not only about turning waste into valuable resources, but also protecting the environment, conserving energy, and supporting the economy. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Goodbye and see you soon.